CRT is racist. It is abusive. It discriminates against one's color. At school board meetings. Do you, do you agree with this book that is being taught with kids that, that babies are racist? Congressional hearings and across the airwaves. Does critical race theory conflict with the gospel? Teaching slavery and critical race theory, those aren't the same things, are they? It's become a source of controversy and confusion. Don't nobody know what critical race theory means mm -hmm. before a year and a half ago. They ain't critical, they ain't run a race, and they ain't got no theory. Into a dwelling place of God. Pastor and author Tony Evans believes it could also be part of God's divine plan. He may have allowed this for the purpose of a wake-up call. In the pulpit, and now a newly updated book, Evans is on a campaign to redeem the discourse around race, wading into the cross currents of CRT with the Bible and a real world example of what he says the theory attempts to expose. What does a golf course have to do with critical race theory? Well, on the surface, it might not be that obvious, but dive a little deeper into history, and the connection becomes a little clearer. Well, the golf course is buttressed against our church property. After years of trying, Evans's church, Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship, bought the nearby Golf Club of Dallas in 2020. Now under renovation, the 155-acre, 18-hole course is open to all. When we first moved in this, to this community, the golf course, which comes up against the precipice of our church facilities, was segregated. African Americans were not allowed to play on it. The first African American that was allowed to play was in 1994. As times changed, so did the country club's rules, which did not expressly deny blacks. Instead, a revised policy of referral by a current member and then approval by two-thirds of the entire club made membership elusive. So even if somebody would have invited me, I couldn't become a member, even if that individual who invited me wasn't a racist because of the structure of how the golf course operated. That, Evans explains, is what critical race theory initially was designed to address. Racism not on the personal level, but within systems. It puts the lens on laws that have changed for the good while focusing on the legacy of unjust systems that evade the goal of equality. Today, the CRT framework has been attached to gender and other controversial issues, driving a wedge between parents and teachers and even within the walls of the church. The SBC began losing prominent black pastors after the Southern Baptist proposed a resolution against CRT. Evans speaks harshly about the division. Now here's the deal. If you're spending more time discussing CRT than you are KRT, that is this, then you've been tricked by the world. Focusing on the bigger picture, He's calling on Christians to respond to their call of biblical unity, offering an alternative framework he's coined KRT. KRT is a kingdom race theology. Rather than a theory, we wanted to deal with a theology because we wanted to talk about what God has to say. Evans describes KRT as the visible, comprehensive rule of God over every area of life, which prioritizes race and racism as kingdom issues rather than societal or cultural problems. But it doesn't stop there. It also emphasizes the goal of reconciliation. Reconciliation demands that we look toward where God wants us to go while not ignoring where we've come from. And that means we can teach honest history. We can teach uh, some of the inequities that have gone on. Kids need to know about the pain of the past on either side of the tracks that you happen to be on. But we can't stop with that conversation because the whole cross is about reconciliation, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. He says when Christians pursue the path of reconciliation, it offers the world a true picture of unity and opens the door for spiritual renewal. Biblical unity is simply oneness of purpose, not sameness of persons. And so when we can do that and have a plan to do that and do it together to the degree of our unity will be the degree to which God shows up and transforms our environment. While some think his message goes too far, others complain not far enough. Meanwhile, Evans says he's focused on promoting the kingdom agenda, helping both churches and their surrounding communities. Back at the golf course, 
Others are taking notice, like Pettis Norman, football legend and one of the club's first black members. In a statement to CBN News, he thanked Dr. Evans for investing in the community in the city and said the church purchase shines a spotlight on unity. Evans warns if Christians don't respond biblically to today's discord, it's not just the world who suffers, but the church. God will only bless us to the degree of our unity. So if we keep this disunity, we're actually keeping God away. Because John 17, verses 23 to, to, to 24, he says, perfect them in unity so they can see my glory. So we will not see him show up if we allow the division in the culture to remain a division in the kingdom of God through his church. The renovations and rebuilding are bigger than real estate or righting or wrong. For Pastor Evans, it reflects his vision of the kingdom agenda, which he describes as the purpose of the church's ministry, including this property, to the glory of God, to the benefit of the community, and to illustrate how Christians can make a difference, not by focusing on societal or political issues, but by allowing the biblical principles of the kingdom agenda to prevail. John Jessup, CBN News, Dallas.